what is good ladies and gentlemen today is the day we finally get to ride the new 2023 ktm the new bike that we're going to be racing and practicing on for the 2023 season absolutely beautiful machine back there hopefully you guys watch the build videos already you're up to speed on exactly what's on this machine and uh, you probably already saw the helmet cam from today that's kind of something i like to do whenever i'm making a vlog and a helmet cam from the day so it's, it's much faster and easier for me to just upload the pov footage and then work on the vlog over the next couple days so you probably already saw me shredding this thing just from a helmet cam perspective but being that this is a pretty big occasion i'm going to hand the third person camera off to my dad and then I'm also recruiting my buddy David Lieb and his girlfriend to come out. They've got some really good camera equipment and uh, they're gonna grab some third person footage for me today, which is rad. I know you guys always like to see that and it's kind of been a while since I incorporated that into the vlogs. I'm definitely gonna try and do more proper vlogs this year um, where I just ask people to film me and whatnot. So I know you guys always enjoy that and uh, I enjoy doing it too because it kind of lets me look at how the bike is reacting and what I can do better with my form. So it's kind of a win-win for everybody. Just a little more work, but that's all right. I'm also gonna be bringing the old bike with me today um, for a couple reasons. Number one, just in case, I don't know, I didn't tighten something on the new bike or something goes wrong, we'll have that as the backup that I can ride. Um, number two, I'm thinking about riding both of the bikes, um, taking the new one out and getting comfortable on it and then riding the old one to do like a comparison. But, but it's pretty much set in stone that I'll be racing the new bike this season. So I don't really see the point in riding the old bike and doing a comparison other than just for the video's sake. So if I go out there and I'm absolutely loving the new bike, I'm probably not gonna ride the old one, but you never know, we'll see. So we got a beautiful string of days here in Michigan and we're heading out to my absolute favorite backyard sand track. You guys have seen it in a couple videos. So actually, I guess you could go back and watch some videos of me riding that track on this bike and kind of compare them to the new bike. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited to ride. I'm gonna load these things up and head to the track, go and meet David and uh, do a little bike intro. I think he's bringing his drone and he's gonna get some cool static shots of the bike before I tear it up because it's never gonna look this pretty again. So I'm gonna load these beauties up and uh, head over to the sand pit. Hope you guys are excited for a rad day testing the brand new 2023 KTM. Yeah, <laughs> Alright guys, we're out at the track. We got both bikes with us. The new pretty girl, the old bike. I wanted to make sure that we got some extra epic footage today because you may notice we have some brand new Active Co gear on and obviously we're riding the new bike which is fresh. So instead of just getting footage from my dad, I decided to get my good buddy David Lieb out here oh, with yeah. his pro setup and everything. Um, who are you David? Well, my name is David. I, uh, I'm a professional mountain bike rider and part-time filmmaker. So I'm uh, an aspiring filmmaker, really. So I figured I'd come out here and uh, hold the camera and try and get some shots for Jeff and um, hopefully make something sick out of it. Yeah, I have no doubt. David, extremely modest. Um, we actually grew up like just a couple miles down the road from each other. And as good as I am at professional motocross, he's even better at slope style, which is like downhill mountain biking with gnarly tricks and flips. Uh, maybe I'll have you send some footage over so I can put that over us talking right now so people can get a good idea of how gnarly you are. But today he's film guy. So see, he's got a pretty epic setup. He already got some drone shots of the new bike and everything. Um, so I'm gonna put the camera down and finally get ripping. And pretty much everything you see from here on out will be all David with a little bit of help from his girlfriend Cheyenne over there she didn't want to be in the footage but we're getting her in there anyway so yeah I'm gonna hit the track David good luck out there oh, do yeah. your best thank Make you people proud we're gonna get it all right
he handled. I gotta tighten my steering nut down a little bit. Front end's getting a little loose out there. Just finished up, very first session on the new bike. Thing is rad. It's familiar enough that I don't feel like it's a totally alien bike to me, but it's different enough that it's definitely gonna take a little bit of fine tuning, um, mainly to get the balance right. We set the sag in my race shop um, when I didn't have gear on, and we put it about to like 101, um, because I figured with gear, and once the oil and stuff broke in, it would bring it down to a, around like 103, 104, which is what I ran on the old bike, because um, these bikes sat so rear down, you have to run almost no sag. Um, but I think this thing just naturally sits up so much higher in the rear, that we're probably gonna have to bring the rear end down just a little bit, which is good. I prefer it that way. Um, it feels a lot more kind of like towards the Japanese bikes, but not so much that the front end is twitchy. So I think we're gonna mess around with the sag, double check that, slowed the rebound down in, a, in the rear a little bit and that already helped a ton. So I think it's just gonna take a little bit of fine tuning and this thing's gonna be absolutely sick. But the engine, super fast. I don't know if anyone got it on camera, but I OJ'd the big jumps like the first lap by probably 10, 15 feet. Um, just wasn't expecting it to pull so hard. So we put the Sand MX-14 Dunlop on the rear and that wheel had a 49 sprocket on it. So the gearing right now is a 1349. Um, stock is a 1351, which is a little bit shorter. And I think I'll probably end up going back to the 1351 because it's geared a little bit long. Like second winds out a little bit, but third bogs a little bit. So probably go back to the 1351, which is standard, and uh, the bike should be absolutely perfect. But pretty cool. This is basically gonna be the exact bike that I'm gonna be racing this summer. So it's good to get such an early start on it and uh, just a little bit of fine tuning. And I bet my lap times will probably beat this thing, so.
All right, guys, that does it for day one on the new machine. She's looking pretty back there, her first little dirt bath. They grow up fast. It'll never look as good ever again. But uh, once again, huge shout out to David for coming out and filming. He showed me some little previews and the clips were absolutely dialed. So really grateful for that. Maybe if enough of you go over and follow him, maybe we can talk him into coming out and filming some more this summer. That'd be sweet. But yeah, at this point, I am absolutely thrilled with the new bike. Um, you guys know I was pretty skeptical of it. Took me a long time to finally make the decision to stick with the KTM. And uh, after the first day of riding, I could not be happier with it. Of course, when a bike is brand new, the chassis is really stiff. The suspension still needs to be broken in. So about three or four laps into that first session, I was definitely worried. I had the balance of the bike all wrong. We didn't really set the sag or anything. So I went out there and especially on this track, um, pretty challenging and deep track. So if you have a little too much weight on the front end, um, that really deep sand can kind of accentuate that by even like when you get off the gas and the sand drags you down it can even lower your front end more and that can make things a little twitchy so i was a little bit nervous like halfway through that first session but i kept softening and lowering the rear a little bit and uh, by the end of the day, I mean, I don't think I've ever felt that comfortable on a bike before. So on top of that, I haven't even ridden for a month and a half. So super thrilled with the bike. Um, I'm definitely going to do a video where I talk about everything that I like and don't like about the bike. Maybe I'll title something like 10 things I love and hate about the new 2023 KTM or where I'll just go over everything that I've noticed so far. And then obviously over the next couple days and weeks and months, I'll learn more and more about this bike. And I'll just keep you guys updated with everything that I learn, everything that I change. Um, I definitely like to keep you guys in in the loop in case you have this bike as well and uh, you're looking for ways to make it better or just improve your comfort on it so I'll definitely keep you guys in the loop on that definitely still a lot of fine tuning to go though I think I'm gonna head out to the track with the boys from turbo speed tuning and have them kind of watch and and definitely fine-tune some things I noticed that the underside of my fender didn't have any scrapes on it which tells me that the rear end might be a little bit stiff I think we put in a setup that was very similar to my 2022 in the rear and then being that the chassis kind of holds up a little bit more in the rear and takes some weight off of it, I think maybe that made the rear end a little bit on the stiff side. So maybe that's something we can play with, soften that up a little bit. And in turn, that'll take a little bit more weight off the front end and improve comfort there as well. But my favorite part about this bike for sure is just how well the front end sticks and tracks into corners. I think just having that little bit extra weight on it totally eliminated that kind of like drifting feeling that I sometimes felt on the old bike. It wasn't a huge issue because I ride in sand all the time. So the front end drifting isn't really too bothersome. But sometimes at the Pro Nationals on a low mirror like rutted track, I could definitely... I could feel that I wanted the front end to be a little bit lower to track into the ruts a little better. So I think once I go to a clay track, I'll, I'll notice the benefits of this new bike even more, but that was definitely one of the big things I liked. Second big thing that I liked is having the rear end sit up more just allowed me to accelerate super hard out of corners. That's definitely the thing that tires me out the most being, you know, almost six foot two. When I get on the gas and the rear end squats, that's a lot of weight trying to slide me off the back of the seat. And so like probably five or six laps into a pro national, I'm definitely not accelerating as hard as I can coming out of corners just because my arms are pumping up from having to hold on to that much power. But today, even for not riding for a month and a half, I felt like I was able to just accelerate out of corners as hard as I wanted. And having that rear end sit up just held me up on the bike more. So lots of really good stuff today. I'm excited to get back out to some more tracks and just feel how this thing is in different conditions. So we still got some warm weather here in Michigan. So I'm definitely going to hit some more tracks this week and uh, we'll have some constant videos flowing for you guys. So that's gonna do it for day one on the new machine. Absolutely stoked. If you guys have any questions definitely leave them down below or if you want me to try out some new things on the new bike like the quick shift or the traction control or map one or whatever definitely leave it down below and uh, maybe I'll address that in another video but for now I hope you guys enjoyed day one prepare yourselves for day two and uh, prepare yourselves for some technical videos coming up so anyways guys thank you very much for watching peace out we'll catch you in the next one later